Hi, Ernesto. Hi, Edu. Good evening. How are you guys? Hi, teacher. How are you? How was your day? <clears throat> um, it's okay, teacher. Uh, I, today I finished my exams okay. in the university. Okay. But it's okay. How they, did it they go? Got the second. Um, <laughs> I don't know, actually, but I think uh, I answer all, all the questions. So okay. I, I hope uh, good. Okay. Was it, uh, there any difficult exam for any subject that you feel that uh, you might not get a good score? Like, do you, are you doubting about that score, maybe? Uh, actually, uh, exam the finances. Finances? Finances. Was, uh, mm -hmm. fin finances, exactly. Uh, uh, it was very long. Uh, okay. We have only one hour. Did you finish it in one hour or were you still missing some questions and some exercises? No, I finished. But the last mm -hmm. question, I, I do very quickly. Okay. So I, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm ah, not okay. sure the, the, the last. Uh -huh. But okay. well, for the hopefully, old exam, okay. Hopefully, you're gonna get a good grade. Okay, I hope you get good grades. You pass all your subjects. Okay, okay teacher. Thank good you. Good evening. Hi, Sara. Good evening. How are you? How are you? Good evening. How are you? How are you Sarah? I'm busy. <laughs> busy with my girl. <laughs> it's okay. I must understand. I Don't must. I must to say her. Um, I'm on the cl on my class, Mitchell. <laughs> Just wait me. <laughs> Be patient, same happens, please. <laughs> same same happens with my kids when they come here in my in my bedroom. They always come in like, and they're like you know like, you know making all hey hi. They're always making like <laughs> you know like hi. This is the teacher. So good they're morning, always making teacher. good morning. Hello, good, good evening. evening. Good evening. Oh, that's so sweet. Yes, I was telling you that when you have kids, they come in and they're like, you know, making mimics to get their attention. So I know what it is to have kids too. Okay. Wow. Wilbur, good evening. Uh, it's to a be late, but I'm here. Okay. Good evening. Okay. No Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you, Wilbur? How was your day? Uh, I have a, 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 a heavy day. <laughs> a very hectic day. Hectic. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, when it, you have like a tense day, you can say hectic day or you can say um, I had a, a hectic, like super stressful, like saying stressful. Mm -hmm. I think I've shared uh, in the past. Uh -huh. I think I've shared in the uh, past. Mm, yes, Wilbur. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, maybe uh, I try to to control the the stress. The stress. Uh, uh, is very difficult. It's, yes, but, but it is very difficult. Yeah, I must imagine. Hectic. So whenever you don't know a word or you want synonyms for one word, not to use the same words over and over again, then you have here. It, thesaurus will tell you, for example, the synonyms for hectic. Chaotic, caotico, chaotic, or frenetic, frenetic. So it will give you chaotic. other synonyms for, for you to use instead of using the same word over and over again. So stressful, chaotic, frenetic, um, etc. Okay, so this is a very good tool and it actually gives you also the dictionary. It has to tap, see that the dictionary to look for the definition and the thesaurus to look for synonyms, okay? So I will share this in the, in the, in the group later on after the class. So you can have it and then whenever you, you want to find a word and you want to, you have an idea, for example, you want to say, I don't know, um, I was excited, but you want to say another way of saying excited. And then it would say, oh, enthusiastic. I felt enthusiastic. So it will give you other ideas on how to say that word that you're looking for. Okay. So it's a very, it's a super cool tool. Okay. So it was a hectic day. 
poor Wilbur. Okay. Edis, good evening. Sadi, good evening. How was your day, guys? Hi, good evening. Good well, evening. mine very, very busy. I'm <laughs> often, but very busy. And a lot of reunions. I don't know why, but I, I think it's, it's tired. Tiring? It's more tired when you are at home. Okay. Yes, because you you know you have the responsibility that there's other things that you need to do in your house and you feel responsible yeah. because you are there. So it's like I'm home, I have to work, but I have to cook. Or I'm home, I have to work, I have to do the laundry or take care of the kids. Yes. So you feel like that responsibility in you that you have to do those things versus when you're in the office, you delegate. You delegate, yes. you do this, you do that, and, and you delegate, or always for the weekend, right? Uh, to do it. But right now, you're every day there, so you, you feel like more responsible that things need to be done at home mm -hmm. and also your job, right? So I understand yes. totally. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I'm still working, teacher. <laughs> <gasps> you are still working. How come? Tell me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm editing a video. Uh, editing a video. Okay. Wow. Editing. Okay. Editing. Uh -huh. Wow. Okay. Well, sometimes our jobs are 24 seven, right? It's like working for the, it's like working. I don't know. It's like 24 seven jobs. Stressful sometimes. Okay, great. Um, well, good evening to everybody. Today, we're going to have a very cool activity. But before we go into that very cool activity, do you guys know what the past uh, continues is? Have you gone into that topic in unit two? It's the first topic for unit two. It's the past continuous. Yes. Do you guys know what the past continuous is? Uh huh? What is a past continuous? When they are A and G. Okay, A and G with, mm -hmm, very good, Joseph. I and G with, with what? B, B, B. Okay, maybe was and where? with the verb was and where plus yeah. the verb in ing right with ing yes okay okay what were they doing for example this is a question so today we're gonna take a look into the past continuous journal that's how it's my newspaper is called for today okay the past continuous journal mm -hmm. this is a very important newspaper we're gonna take a look at and we're gonna find out just a little recap on what's the past continuous with some examples for example let's go with the first one what do you see on the picture? He, she, or they? First of all, he, she, or they? Because we have two. They. They. Okay. If we they, have they, where? because huh, if they, we have they, we're always going to use where. Was will always yeah. be for third person. He or she. Okay? He or she. Uh -huh. So yeah. they or were, it. or <laughs> even it. She, he, or it. Very good. And we have these other options here. Verbs in ing. What were they doing? They were eating, singing, drinking, cycling, cycling, Cy cycling. very good, playing or reading. They Excellent. were cycling. Excellent, very good. They were cycling. Um, have you ever seen this type of bicycles before? Have you ever seen them? No, before? I've never seen a movie. <laughs> uh -huh. Look at how antique it is, right? The girl would drive in the front, okay, sitting down, and the guy would drive on the back. Interesting. Cool. And you know what? She, she, if you notice, she's holding something. Do you know what she's holding with her hands? Her dress? Or no, 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 no. She has two things on her, on her, like, she's holding something. What is she holding to? Yeah. What do you, what do you she, guys think? She is holding, right? like, the, the. Great. Excellent, very good. Yeah, maybe the brakes. She's holding the brakes. So it just came to my mind when you guys were little and you had the, the bicycles and you know your brakes didn't work. Yeah. Like, and she also has, if you see her foot on top of the pedal, like on a little wheel or something. So in case the brakes didn't work, there was an additional one. Like she would put her feet on the wheel for the bicycle to actually stop. So that's how bicycles were back in the days, imagine. How oh, crazy, right? So the girl would do all, so you see girl power. The girl would do all the, the breaks and, you know, yeah. avoiding to crash. And he would be the only one, you know, doing the effort of, of actually cycling. 
because the activity is cycling. So you can cycle on what? On a, on a standard bicycle at the gym or on a regular bicycle on the street too, okay? Very good. Our next picture, let's take a look. Let's take a look at our next picture from the newspaper. He, she, or they? He. he. So it's, he. do you think it's a she? No. no. Yeah. He, even he, though he, he, even though he has long hair, it's a he. Yeah. So always for third person was right. So he was. What was he doing? What was he doing? He was playing. Playing. He was he playing. playing. Some of you say playing, and some of you he say was listening. Listening. What was he listening to? <laughs> Play. Or playing? What was he playing? What is playing? So the, um, up, um, I don't know how can you say the el nombre de esto. <laughs> um, they must to, uh, no, no sé cómo decir. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> que tiene que estarle dando cuerda. Uh huh. He he needs to. Okay. So since we don't have the name, and since I'm sharing my screen, I cannot switch screens right now. I want you to help me. How would you look for this word on Google and tell me the answer? It's a record machine. Oh, okay. It's for I'm records for the long place to listen to oh. music. It's for. But what is it called? Tell me. Because it has to be identical to my newspaper. So I want you to go to images. Look it up in Google. Okay, and tell me the name of it. And tell me what it is. Did you guys find it? Remember how the other day I told you like different strategies on how to look for a word? It's like a string, string record. Okay. Phonograph. Phonographer? Uh -huh. Can you tell phonographer. me what it is? What is a phonographer? What's the meaning? It's to listen music. Um, it's to listen. Yeah, it's actually it a goes, phonographer. Uh huh. Uh, I found it like a gramophone. 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 Yep. Okay. Yep. Can you guys, if you guys can send a screenshot or a picture on the group, that would be highly appreciated. That way everybody else can actually see the picture with the name of it. If you have like a, if you can actually take like a print screen of the, of, of the, or uh, impression of the screen of your, of your image. Okay. Yeah. It's actually like a rec, it's an older antique record player it was one of the first one, right? Like a phon phonographer or... What Sadie phonograph, said also? Phonograph. Uh -huh, phonograph. And Sadie said another word too. I just don't remember what it was. Yeah, the Maybe word that I said was gramophone. Okay, gramophone or phonograph. Okay. Gramophone. Okay. Maybe one of those. The majority of elements at that time, they look the same. Have you, have you noticed? They look like a big trumpet, the end of a trumpet, a big one. Whether for communicating, okay, like walkie talkies or whether to listen to music, so they were all alike. So we wouldn't be able to tell because the picture is not really good display. But I'll take all suggestions. Very good, our next exercise. Aha, uh -huh. he, she, or they? They. Mm -hmm. Look at the picture and look at the components. Ah, uh, they. But there's two girls, uh huh. They, 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 what are they, they doing? Were driving. They, driving. Driving. they were driving, they were driving, 
Actually, look at the picture. Let's analyze the picture again. They were not driving. Only one can drive. No. Mm. They're she was driving. Okay. She, Excellent. she was driving, so. Very she good. Uh -huh. She was driving. driving. Uh -huh. yeah. And sometimes we tend to make that mistake, and it happens. Very, uh -huh. Very good. And sometimes that can happen. We confuse because we see two in the picture, but it's actually she because only one can be doing the action in this in this particular picture. So she is driving. Very good. What is she driving? A car. A car. Uh, she's driving a car? Plastic okay. car. A, pl a plastic, a what? A plastic car. <laughs> <laughs> a classic, a classic ah, car. A classic <laughs> car. Okay, I'm sorry. I heard a plastic car. I was like, what? <laughs> That's super creative. Okay, I was picturing. I don't already. have a, a good, a great pronunciation. <laughs> no, it's okay. Uh, my mind is like Kodak. You know, it's it was like a photograph right now of you know like the Mundo Feliz kind of cars, like oh, the okay. GoPro that are plastic. So I was like thinking about it. Okay, yeah, she was actually driving a classic car. Very good, very good. Our next exercise, really quick. Uh huh. Do you think it's a he or do you think it's okay. a she? He was he was he, no, he, no, what, she, yeah, you, she you was she was you can tell you can tell i think it's a she i'm i'm i don't know if i'm right or wrong mm, yeah, but it looks she, like a she yeah may, maybe because she has a, a the suit. Face. her expression and you can see the tirante vamos a ver like yeah, she has a, like a top uh -huh, like a string, very good, like a swimsuit uh -huh, that has a top on it. Okay, very good. Yeah. So she was swimming, very good. Uh, yes. What about this? She was tight. The tight of the string. Uh, Next one. She, she was, she was, she was reading. reading. She was reading. reading. She, she was, was reading. reading. Based on the place, the picture, and all the elements around it, where do you think she, where do you think she was reading at? I guess that she uh, she looks like Marie Curie. Aha, uh -huh, very good. She's mm -hmm. actually somebody she famous and she was in a, at a laboratory. Very good. Laboratory. Maybe she was looking for the cure, investigating the cure, trying to get the cure for something. Very good. Uh -huh. Good job. And that yes. and little that and later they die with what? Labor Day is across uh, the uh, corner, sí, yeah. Sí, mi amor. Mm -hmm. Next yes, one. Sorry. <laughs> they were... Uh-huh. Playing. They were playing. Okay. They were playing. They were playing. What were they playing? Playing soccer. soccer. Playing soccer. Do you think so? Or rugby. Handball. Yeah. Handball. Very handball. good. Handball. Yeah. Back yeah, in the handball. days, it was a very popular sport. Handball. And it was, handball. it's yeah. not as popular as before, but it was super popular, right? Looked very much like soccer, but it was, it was handball. Mm -hmm. Very, very good. <laughs> My daughter practiced handball. Because look yeah. at him. He, literally, he's throwing himself to the ball to get the ball. He's like yeah. a goalkeeper. Or maybe he's a goalkeeper, or maybe that's soccer, right? Huh? So you cannot tell. But it could be, it could be handball, it could be soccer. Okay, maybe. Okay. Good job. Our right, next one. Was she talking on the phone? Um, yes, she was. Yes, she was. Yes, okay. she was. So whenever we ask, if you see. In this case, we're she changing was. She, was. she was or was she. Whenever we make the question, we just move the verb to the beginning, right? And it becomes our auxiliary. Was she talking? Was she dancing? So if we go back, uh huh. Were they uh, playing soccer? Was she eating a? Uh, was she reading a book? Okay. Uh, was she swimming? Was she driving a classic car? Was he listening to some music? Some classic music? Okay, were they cycling? Okay, so as you see, that would be the structure for the past continuous. Now, this was just our like a little uh, warm up activity. Now, I have another activity. 
I'm going to show you a couple of spoilers, movie spoilers, and I'm going to show you a piece of it, and then you have to make up sentences using the past continuous, okay? Okay. 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 So I'm going to show you, just give me one minute while I load this. <clears throat> okay, so you're going to see a couple of spoilers, okay? And pay attention to the spoiler because then you don't need, now remember, even if you know the movie, don't worry about, or the series, if it's a series, a movie, the part of a commercial, etc. So don't worry about the names. You don't need to know the names. You just have to refer to the person like the lady, the woman, the aunt, the kid, the neighbor. Okay, so don't worry about the names, the warrior, etc. So don't, don't focus on the names. Just focus on the person and the action and come up with an example in the past uh, continues, okay? Let's get started. I'm going to give you an example first. Not my daughter, you bitch. <laughs> So this is one example. The witch, in this case, because I didn't know she was Bella Trix. Okay. So the witch was fighting with a girl. Okay. So you come up with an example like that. Okay. The witch was fighting with a girl. Now, you're going to see more examples coming up on the screen, but those are just examples from the students who created this video because it's a video created from some students to a teacher. But I really like the activity very, very much. So don't pay attention to the examples. Those are just for reference. I want you to come with your own examples, okay, and being creative, okay? So what else can I say about this small clip? Can you tell me? What else could um, I say? She was holding a, one, a magic wand. She was holding a magic wound. 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 Wound, okay. Very okay, good. wound. Excellent, very good. She was holding a magic wound. Okay, let's continue watching. What can you tell me about this particular? She was? It's all right. It's all right to say she was throwing a spell to her. Uh huh. Okay. Yes, she was throwing a spell to yes. her. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, she was throwing out. She was throwing out okay. a spell. Mm -hmm. Very good. She was falling down with with perfect grace. <laughs> she was falling down or she was disappearing. It could be because she for some reason disintegrated. Okay. okay. So she was falling down or she was okay. disappearing. Mm -hmm. Next one. Next spoiler. Of course, this one is because oh, of the no. Ned Stark was trying to this. No, well, here there's a was trying to this. You're cruel. <laughs> Sorry, but this is remember the video was made by some students and it's just <laughs> so they knew. But there is a mistake no. here. What's the mistake? I want you to find the mistake in this particular example. What's the mistake? Tell me. She, she was. She, What's the mistake in this in this sentence? Trying. After so trying, you have to, to, to put the two. To put the, uh -huh, was trying to discover, was trying to discover the truth. Excellent. Truth. Truth. Mm -hmm. Very good. Ned Stark was trying to discover the truth. Very good. Very good. Okay. Come up with another example. Mm -hmm. He was landing a sword. He was landing a sword. Okay, very good, very good. Turn my back on it. Mm -hmm. More examples, more examples. I want everybody participating. Or I'm going to start asking by your names. <laughs> she was... She was... He was? Pablo? He was killing somebody or okay. she was shooting her gun. 
Okay, he was shooting someone, he was he was dying, he was, uh-huh, very good. They were laughing in this picture. Okay, they were laughing in this picture. They were laughing in this picture. Mm -hmm. In this picture, yes. Yeah. Sorry. Right. Uh, no, uh, I'm sorry, he was close to kill everybody in the room. He was... With the grenade. He was he... close to, to kill everybody in the room. Okay, uh -huh. but try to use the was or where with the verb in ing. He was... He was dying. He was dying after being shot. He was throwing a grenade, for example. To kill everybody. He was, okay, then again, was or where? Plus the verb in ING, okay? First, you will crash. And then, you will burn. Mi amor, trata de bajarlo, por favor. Okay, tell me, tell me more examples like the ones that we have here. She was lighting. He was killing herself. Okay, very good. She was killing herself. Uh -huh. Now, let's try to make it more tragic since there are movie trailers or movie clips or movie uh, shorts. Let's try to uh, come up with more information for each sentence, okay? Let's try to come up with more examples, mm -hmm. like more dramatic. She was killing herself because, and I want like a dramatic ending, okay? Just try to come, remember, I don't see you guys as basics okay. anymore or intermediate. I see you as advanced. So I want you to elaborate more on your sentences, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, okay. So let's try to make an example with this one. Let's try to be dramatic with this example. If it, it, it's, it, it is correct if I said uh, daughter-in-law. Is it correct if I say daughter-in-law? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I think my, my, my example will be um, she was killing herself because uh, she realized that, that uh, her daughter-in-law was uh, uh, being uh, unf unfaithful to his son. Okay, wow. That was a very dramatic example, but I liked it a lot. Okay, very good, very good. Okay, <laughs> nice, I liked it. <laughs> Let's go with another one. I know, but that was exaggerated. Like she actually burned the whole entire house. It made it explode. Okay. Let's continue. Well, I'm still working on kind. Okay, huh? Tell me. Romantic time. They were, she was, he was. They, that they the couple they was. were dying after that. He was kissing her girlfriend. No, he was yeah. kissing the girl when his wife came home. <laughs> okay, he was kissing his girl when who arrived home? And his wife get home. I know. Okay, when his wife <laughs> arrived home. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. You say that you want something dramatic. Yeah, super dramatic. <laughs> but that's funny, it's creative, very good. Okay. Oh, yes. He's a right little bloody. He's got around that followed, and he's called me a demented mint. What the fuck have you been saying to my mama? Mm -hmm. Okay. Another dramatic example, please. Mm -hmm. 
¿Hm? Y yo en clase de inglés. Another dramatic example. Michelle, escúchame. Maybe I think uh, he was crying because he was uh, um, he was sad because he, he was uh, a lot of a lot of days uh, without seeing his sister. Okay, he was crying. He was cleaning the chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> that could be another one too. Okay. He, she was she was cleaning the chocolate on his face okay because he was crying and because he had seen his sister like in the longest very good very good let's yeah. take a look i think it's ketchup by the way but i'm not sure it looks like ketchup <laughs> or chocolate <laughs> no it's chocolate? Red. bolognese, bolognese sauce sauce yeah it actually looks like sauce or maybe it's sauce or maybe it's chocolate hmm. Oh, there's our kind of here. <laughs> we are hungry. <laughs> he told me enough. Okay, piece of Star Wars. Tell me, be dramatics, please. He was getting, he was getting hit mad. He was getting crazy. Is, is that correct? You can say that he was getting crazy, but give me yeah. a reason why. Because okay, he was getting crazy because uh, he realized that that, um, that his the other man, uh -huh. the other the, yeah, that's right. The he, the, the other man uh, was his father, <laughs> and they okay. were fighting against okay. each other. The What's the name? Like like the movie. <laughs> Like the movie. Why? What's the name of the? I forget that. Darth Vader. Darth Vader. Darth Vader. Darth Vader. I'm sorry, I'm not a Star Wars fan, so that's why I don't know the names. <laughs> My apologies on that. It's that's why I don't know the names. But I was asking. Okay, so Darth Vader. Now you know. Darth Vader. It's the father of Luca. Or Lucas is. Dark, Lucas. Lucas Skywalker. is Darth. Lucas Skywalker is. The son, right? Of Darth Vader. Is his son. Oh, okay. Yes. Because okay. Darth Vader is Anakin Skywalker. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ah, okay. Super, super. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, very good. Any other sentence you can come up with? It with Star Wars? You. No. I am your father. I am your father. Yeah, he tells him that. Okay. Uh -huh. I'm your father. <laughs> Any other example? He was confessing his your father. Excellent. He was confessing he was his father. Very good. I like that example. Very good, Sarah. Mm -hmm. huh? He was confessing he was he his was, father. He was giving us a bad example. <laughs> <laughs> he was giving us a bad example. Okay. Very a, good. A bad example to be a father. Uh, from a father to a son. <laughs> He was giving us a bad example yeah. from us of a father to a son. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. Dice was Halloween party. And they've been inseparable ever since. I know. <laughs> okay. Give me an example with this one. She was angry because the other girl was with her boy. Okay. Uh -huh. She and was being was, snoopy. She was, she was having a, a bad day. <laughs> she was having a bad day. Very good. Another example. Uh -huh. Very good. She was, she was being snoopy and that's why she, she <laughs> fell off. Okay, she trash. When this happens, it's like you trip, okay? Like you trip and you you fall. Okay, so she tripped and fell oh, okay. into the trash can. Okay. <laughs> True. Very good. Okay.
Oh my god! Leila! Give me an example. She was falling down the building when Spider-Man uh, helped her. Helped her, rescued her, helped her, Rescue saved them. her. Uh -huh. <coughs> okay, good job. Any other one? Everybody in the movie theater was crying because <laughs> when Stacy died. Uh, okay, everybody at the Did movie she theater die? was... <laughs> Yes, yes, she died. Really? Spoiler! <laughs> what? You see, I'm sorry. What's That's why the movie? This is... Oh my god. <laughs> see, I'm sorry. That's why this is a spoiler game. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I advise you for the game. Falling. Oh, okay. For those of you, or for those of us who have not seen the movie, thank you for telling us that she died. <laughs> <laughs> It's good. That's why you call spo and that's why you tell people spoiler. Don't be a spoiler, right? You always tell people don't be a spoiler in movies. Yeah. And there's another exercise that I have for movies of the 2020. So some spoilers there for for some movies. So sorry for that in advance for Jumanji and Sonic and all mm -hmm. those. If you haven't seen them yet, okay. Let's continue. The 2012 Ooh. National Show Choir Champions. From McKinley High mm -hmm. They were winning later to be a, or later to give the best effort. Mm, say it again, restructuring. They were. They were winning. Mm -hmm. Two. You could say they were winning. They were expecting it. They huh? were expecting the, to Win. know if they won. They were expecting to find out or to know if they won. Very good. They were expecting. Mm -hmm. Very good, very good. They were, they were exciting because they uh, won to mm -hmm. win. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, they were exciting, maybe no. Let's change that exciting word for something no. else. Let's change exciting. Okay. Because it's not a verb. They were... Um, because excited is just an emotion. It's how you feel. It's like, okay. They uh -huh. were feeling they excited, were, yes. They were feeling excited, you could say. Okay. But rephrase it, add more again because I didn't listen to the last part. Sorry. They were. They were feeling exciting because uh, they want to win. Okay. They feel. ¿Cómo they se dice celebrar, Leila? Celebrating. Celebrating. They were celebrating. They won. Very good. They were celebrating. They won. They were celebrating because they won. <laughs> mm -hmm. Very good. Very good. Mm -hmm. Very good. Today. Okay, let's continue on. this one she was dressing on fire <laughs> she was dressing on fire okay <laughs> super good example she was dressing on fire <laughs> we're going yeah. to call uh, that was uh, another huge spoiler <laughs> Ooh, what movie what movie is this one i haven't seen i don't even know the name of it what's this movie's name hunger games 
the Hunger oh, Games, the third one. part of uh, uh, Mockingjay. The Hunger okay. Games. It is the okay. third part, Games, I guess. Yes. I'm sorry, guys. I, I'm sorry for spoiling your the movie. Okay. <laughs> so another example with the dress and the girl on fire. She was she was modeling a bird dress. <laughs> She was modeling a bird dress. Very good, huh? Yeah. She was modeling. She was a bird wearing dress. a bad dress. <laughs> <laughs> she, the, what, the first one, the first one, or the second one? Uh -huh. Or both? Oh, she. Uh -huh. <laughs> both. <laughs> both. Okay. Okay. Or she was, or she was being hot, a hot girl. <laughs> She was being maybe, uh huh. She was being, she was, I think it was a wedding dress, the first one, right? I think she was, being, yes. uh huh. Okay. And she was being a hot girl. Okay. Mm -hmm. Acceptable. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's continue watching some more examples. It's a feathered. It's, and it's like a, it's a bird. It's like a, um, um, like a mockingjay. Tragic, but let's practice. Mm -hmm. Okay, she was. Going. She was going to her death. She was. She was going to. Um, she was going I, to die. She was going to die. She was going to meet her death, maybe. Uh huh. She was going to meet it. Joe Black. She was going to meet Joe Black. <laughs> okay. <laughs> very good movie, by the way. That's a very good movie. Meet Joe Black, right? Nineties, oh, nineties. Sorry. It was the oh, nice. the last time that I can see a uh, brother see? like a hot man. Yeah, he was very young at that time. I think she was still yeah. very young at that time. Okay. So okay. what happened with Relax. the friend? <laughs> What happened with the friends and the girl here? Can you make an example with the friends and the girl in this particular scene? They were they were shouting at her. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, they were you... like they are at their como alertando. They were they alerting. They you can say alerting. You can say alerting. They were okay, alerting. alerting. Uh -huh. They were alerting. Alerting. Alerting her alerting. friend. Alerting her friend. Uh huh. What's okay, the difference, alerting. guys, between shout and scream? I think a scream. I don't know. A scream is when you are like um, terrified. It's the noise. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. or more noisy i don't know mm -hmm. and shout you can shout i know i don't know <laughs> i mm -hmm. guess that when you're scream you just do the ah <laughs> and when you sh um, and the difference uh, is when you uh shout? say something with a louder volume when you say a word, you shout, like, hey, you, in, in a very loud voice, you shout. But when you okay. scream, it's just uh -huh. when you're not saying any words, like, hey, come back, or hey, don't forget this. So you're like shouting out. And screaming is just uh, like, ah. I know. It's just the sound itself. So that's yeah. the difference. Even though people sometimes okay. they don't know the difference, so they can use either or, screaming or shouting. But now that you know the difference, then you can start using it. So sometimes people say, hey, yes, stop screaming you. or stop shouting. So shouting is when people are like discussing very, at, you know, they're having a, a discussion, but in a very long, loud, sorry, way. Loud. Mm -hmm. Okay. So they're shouting. Thank you. For example, I, I, I don't know if you guys know, for example, people from Puerto Rico and Dominican Republic, when they're talking, it looks like they're fighting, but they're actually yes, speaking. They're very That's, loud, they, yes. and, they're, and they talk to each other like almost face to face and moving their hands and you feel like they're about to, you know, start a fight. But they're actually, that's the way they talk to each other, yeah. face to face and they're very loud. So they are shouting and screaming is just, ah, you know, making oh, the, okay. that sound with no words with it. Uh -huh. 
Just the sound. Just mm -hmm. the sound. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, let's continue watching some more Teacher. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Sorry. Hmm? Teacher. Yes. How is the writing of chiring of the uh, chiring? Uh, can you write in the chat? The yes, I'm, I'm going to write in the group chat. Uh, what is the okay. the word for That's shouting? All. Yes, exactly. Shouting is like this, shouting. I'm writing oh. it on the group, but on WhatsApp, because I cannot write on the chat. I don't know, I cannot chat here, I don't know okay. why. And shouting is like, hey, you, right? And screaming is the other one, shouting. Okay. Hey, you, man. Hey, you, nigga, I know. <laughs> like, there's a, even a song called from the Bon Jovi. I think it's called Shout to the Heart. There's like a shout to the heart. So it's when you're talking to your heart, but in a loud way. Ah, yes, so yes. you're not screaming to your heart. You're shouting to your heart. Okay. That's a great song. sound. Yeah, I know, right? I know. Yeah. Bon Jovi. Classic Bad medicine. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> I know, this is very dramatic. Dramatic? <laughs> I guess that is intense. <laughs> yeah, super, super intense. What can you tell me about oh, this particular example? My... What can you tell me about this one? She was... He or she? She was sharing... <laughs> Her knee, <laughs> his knee, his knife. His knife. Uh -huh. He was. How do you say that? When you introduce the knife, uh huh? I'll show you the word. It's called stabbing. You stab he a knife. He was asking him, "Can you can you say it for me?" <laughs> I'm showing you in a group. When you like the word "acuchillar," someone, it's called stabbing. Uh -huh. So he was stabbing, stabbing. stabbing. Stabbing a knife. Stabbing. stabbing a knife or a weapon or um, I don't know. Okay, mm -hmm. so that's that's what it is. Okay, but I, I really didn't like this one. Let's go to Toy Story. Oh. To infinity and beyond! <laughs> Okay, so this was the last one. So tell me, give me examples with this one. Hmm? My girl loved it. He was Sorry. trying to show to his friends that she she was not a toy, just a toy. Oh, yes, he was trying to show his friends he was not a he was not just a toy. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. He was falling with the style. <laughs> he was in flying. Style. <laughs> he was flying. He was with falling style. in style. Ah, <laughs> falling, falling or flying, flying falling. or or falling. Ah, falling. Falling. falling, falling. He was falling, falling. Like falling down. Very good. He was falling with style. Very good. I like that example. With the style, yes. Okay. Anybody else? He, he told that. And anybody else? I was. I, I was about to say the same. He was. He wasn't flying. He was falling with style. He wasn't flying. He was yeah. falling with style. <laughs> very good. Very good. Okay. Very good, guys. Well, that was the exercise for today. I hope that you continue working on the platform. Please, I want you to work on the platform. For those of you who are new eh, with the with the the way we're working, we need to comply with the platform before the six before the four weeks end. Okay, before the month ends. So let's count sixteen sessions that we're going to have. So after our last session, they close. So I hope that everybody finishes before. And um, if you have questions, feel free to write to me. Okay, I will try to answer back as soon as possible. I'm not really familiarized with working with the tool itself, but I can help you out with the topics related to the language because then we have Jonathan and we have the English Corporativo team that they can help you with your connection with Zoom or your users and passwords and everything else. But if it's related to the language, I'll be more than welcome to help you guys out with that, okay? So, nice to talk to you guys today. Yeah. Yes. 
yes, yes. yes. Thank you. I have a question. What's your question? Is that, um, uh, when, what is the, the subject that I must to do to be in a day? No, my sessions, sometimes they will not go along with the way you're working because some of you guys are, for example, I'm already in unit two, the first topic for unit two, which is a past, a, a past with ING. But some of you might be still in passive voice in unit one. Some of you might be already in unit three. Some of you are already maybe finishing. So everybody works at a different pace. The idea is that in the four weeks, you guys finish the platform and for English Corporativo to be able, you know, for them to be ready to activate you in intermediate form. So the idea is to comply because remember what, what I'm, why, the reason why I'm telling you this is because InsaForb, you know how InsaForb works. And so sometimes it takes longer than expected when there's people that have not turned in their documents from for registering for the next course or HR, so, so many inconveniences. So InsaForb is quite uh, picky with this particular matter. So the idea is to finish beforehand, that way you have your uh, form ready for intermediate three, and that way we have our paper set just to have it continue so we don't have to wait for a very long time, course after course. So the idea is to have it continuously mm -hmm. not to stop and have a lot you know because vacation sometimes with insufferb is one week but when the papers are not ready for the group they extend that week to two weeks like what happened to us that we were coming from intermediate two to intermediate three so uh, sometimes it's because of that it's not because of English corporativo but it's more uh, you know something bureaucratic from insufferb okay so feel free to work okay. Thank at you, your teacher. pace I really okay? appreciate your time you're welcome, guys. I hope you had fun. It was a very okay. cool activity, okay? Thank you so much, yes, and I'll see you, you next week. Tomorrow we don't have class, so enjoy your Friday. Yeah. And see you next Monday. Enjoy okay? the long enjoy weekend. Enjoy, enjoy your long weekend. <laughs> enjoy your long weekend. Bye. Don't be a Good night. Bye. Good night, guys. Bye. Good night. Bye, everyone. Bye, Bye. Bye guys. Bye.